Hey everybody, it's your favorite friend and fiend, Kenneth Ramon, back here again in the Cruiser Bruiser. This time, you guys, I wanted to give you guys a special video. I've been wanting to do this ever since I started doing YouTube videos. I've been wanting to share uh, my Misfits autograph CD collection, and that's what I'm going to do. Without further ado, guys, I got this big box right here. What's in this big box? Uh, it's time to find out. And I guess this is kind of like Misfits related because they have their own Nightmare on Elm Street song. But I just wanted you guys to keep the new t-shirt, man. They got these at Walmart right now. They got Nightmare on Elm Street, Dream Warriors. One of the best ones in my opinion. This one's got Dokken in it, so I love this one. But yeah, this is available. Check out your local Walmarts. It's uh, I think like $7.50. So yeah, definitely check that one out. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna like take out like the CD uh, slips out of the CD cases just so you guys could see it better. It's not a big glare and you know scratches on some of these covers. But anyways, you guys, uh, yeah, you know, as you know, those of you that have been following my channel, been huge on like autograph collecting, and um, a little bit of backstory. It all started with the Misfits, really. Um, I was friends on Facebook with the original drummer, Manny Martinez, right? And he was just, like, signing, like, vinyls and, um, you know, CD covers from people's collection. You know, the fans, right? The fans. And I was like, wow, huh, I need to get in on that, right? So then I messaged Manny. He's like, oh, yeah, no problem. Here's my address. Just mail it to me with a self-addressed stamped envelope, right? And then I did it, right? And it blew my mind, okay? I was like, wow, it can't be that easy. And then, like, I just, I did some further research on YouTube, and I saw that this is actually a thing that, uh, you know, even other celebrities, like, big-name celebrities do uh, with fans that not a lot of people know about, that not a lot of people are talking about. So, with a little bit of more research, that's how I got in on this, like, autograph collecting through the mail hobby of mine. So, yeah, like I was saying, I mean, uh, through the mail, autograph collecting started with Manny Martinez and Joey Image, you know, the original drummers of the Misfits. But I guess, you know, it kind of predates that, you know, my love for the Misfits goes back to high school, but uh, they were like my favorite band at that time. And uh, I did get to see them live. One of like... Uh, one of like the earliest like shows where I had to like go out of town to go see like I begged my parents oh come on please I need to see these guys they're not getting any younger so it was Jerry Only's uh, Misfits with Des Kadena but yeah so I bought the CD um, yeah The Devil's Reign and Dead Alive I bought those CDs at the concert and then uh, Jerry was staying after the show signing for everybody that blew my mind never seen anything like that before you know, I thought you had to pay top dollar for a VIP to get that but yeah so he signed uh, this one and he signed this one for me and this was back in uh, 2013 yeah November 2013 November 15th 2013 if memory serves me right at the House of Blues in Los Angeles. So that was really cool. So that's uh, where the journey begins, right? And then I find out that Manny's signing in the mail. So, and you know, like I didn't actually have like the actual record or anything, but I still needed to get him on this like Cough Cool She single, right? Because that was like the very first thing the Misfits ever released. So yeah, I got him to sign here. And then, I kid you not, I think it was like a couple months after, like I heard that uh, Jerry Only was making an appearance at um, Forbidden Planet in New York. And I was young and dumb at this time, so I thought, oh, let me mail out, you know, to Forbidden Planet. Maybe they'll send it to him. Don't do that, okay? If there's like a convention where somebody's doing a signing, it's very, very slim. Your chances of them actually receiving your fan letter is, is it's very slim, okay? So don't do that, but young and dumb I did it and uh, yeah I, I got Jerry to sign it too very cool I like that you can see it in the back too so yeah that was like my little custom made uh, CD cover which, uh, because you guys could see it. it's a it's a burnt one but yeah still pretty cool nonetheless and um, at that time too I also sent like collection too and this is a prize possession in my collection but yeah this is signed by a bunch of people now but I sent this one to Manny as well, and then I sent to Jerry. Now, when I sent to Jerry, it was kind of scary because I also had Joey Image on it. 
Yeah, I, I forget. I, I sent it to Manny first, and then I sent it to Joey Image. Rest in peace, man. But very cool, man. So I sent it to Jerry with those two signatures like a dummy. And I got it back. I was really happy to get it back. And then uh, Erie Vaughn, who's... um. I think he's like the, is he the bass player of Danzig? I'm sorry, I might be wrong with that, but he played bass on a couple songs on this album and and the drums and he sings the backup on, um, what's it called, Mephisto Waltz, Waltz, right? Yeah, Mephisto Waltz and I believe he also does Halloween too and he does the re-recording of Hate Breeders and not a lot of people know about that, right? It was kind of like a... Um, what do you call it? Uh, like a word of mouth type of thing. And then many years later, he finally confirmed it that there was some re-recordings going on. And even then, like he's still like kind of like uh, limited to what he actually says because I don't know if there's something that he's not allowed to say, you know, by contract. But um, yeah, so I got him to sign that one too. And he was cool to actually like sign for free too for me because he wrote me a little note. Usually, you know, I charge 30 bucks for each signature, but I liked your letter, so I'm going to sign these for you anyways. And he signed a couple other things for me too. I guess I'll just show those to you guys as well. This CD cover's all scratched up, so let me pull that out. But yeah, he signed like the Danzig solo CD. And then... Uh, Signed this one too. Signed the second album. So yeah, so I have those both signed by Erie Vaughn, which is really cool. And he signed those for free. He was so cool about it. Didn't have to do that. I'm kind of just going with the flow with this video. I'm sorry, it's kind of all over the place. But like, you know, when I have a story, I'm just going to show you something in this box that kind of represents that story. So bear with me, guys. Sorry, it's kind of all over the place. Alrighty, and then after I got all these other signatures, I just had to get uh, Mr. Bobby Steele to sign this, man. He was also like the lead guitarist of the Misfits at one point, you know, in the early 80s or so. And then Doyle took over. But yeah, man, I got him at an Undead show. So really cool, man. Really, really cool. This is my prized possession. I'm no longer mailing it anymore. And um, oh, I forgot to show you guys the back. I got the back too. The back of it signed by Doyle, which I got in person at the Whiskey A Go Go as well. And uh, Franche Coma, which I got him through the mail, signed the back of it. And then I was so afraid to mail this out ever again. So this is a more recent success, but I got Mr. Jim, who's like the drummer on um, like the early stuff, the Static Age stuff. But yeah, so I had him sign like a separate little little thing I cut out and then I just stuck it in here. But I think it looks pretty cool and I put all the guitar picks I've gotten through the mail um, in this like the CD frame, you know, Des Kadena, Doyle, Jerry, they're all in here so I think it's really cool how it turned out so so yeah that's how like the CD cover looks you know. I don't know if this is worth anything you know but to me it's worth worth everything man this is I would never sell this I'm sorry <laughs> but yeah I do kind of wonder what it would be worth, though. But I still need uh, Glenn, Glenn Danzig. I don't have him at all in my collection. He's kind of hard to get. You know, you have to get him in person. And I'm, I'm kind of shy. I won't lie. I, I kind of shake a little. So, but you know, I feel like you know maybe one day I'll get to meet the man and get him to sign it. I mean, I've gotten Jerry in person, but Jerry's super cool, very nice, not intimidating at all. So. <laughs> Um, anyways, you guys, so, um, let me just share with you the rest of, uh, my collection. Here's, um, Walk Among Us, signed by Jerry and Doyle. So this was, uh, both through the mail. Very cool. They're really good with their fan mail, guys. Like, I'm not one to share addresses and things like that, but if you come across it, or you come across a way of writing to them, they're really, really good with fan mail. Always. They've been really kind to the fans. And then here's, um, Earth AD. Signed by Doyle, it's, you can hardly see it because it's in silver. and Even Jerry's kind of hard to see, but yeah, Doyle and Jerry right there. So really cool. And then um, I have Collection 1, which I had signed by... Um, a lot of the people who signed uh, Collection 2 also signed this one because I mailed this one at the same time. Then I mailed it to one person, and I haven't seen it back, but I never lose hope. You know, sometimes people get busy, so... You know, if you're watching this video, man, please send it back. Please send it back when you can, when you can. But, uh, yeah, no biggie, man. It's it's totally cool. I, I What's cool about this one is uh, I got um, 
Mike Hideous, who actually replaced uh, Michael Graves on the um, American Psycho Tour. Yeah, it was American Psycho Tour briefly uh, when uh, he was, I guess he was busy doing something else. So uh, my, Mike Hideous took over some shows and this was all that I had. You know, I, I would, it wasn't like printing out pictures like I do now. So I just took things from my collection and mailed it out. So I noticed that, you know, in the shows that he was doing, he did a lot of these songs and I felt like he did a great job. So yeah, so he signed this and then he sent me so much stuff of his uh, other band, his band, um, Empire Hideous. Okay, he sent me all these flyers and stickers and oh, you name it, man. This was a really cool success. Uh, to get back so really really cool I wanted to show you guys this this is the only like uh, misfits related autograph I have from my kiddies but I'm happy I still have that it is the back but maybe I'll see the front again soon that would be really really cool and then gosh where does static age go alrighty guys it looks like I, I may be missing um, static age in here yeah, but, but it's understandable. I mean, I'm not going to worry about it because I like to take these out and look at them every so often. So I'm pretty sure Static Age is somewhere in my house. So um, if I don't come across it at the house, you know, I probably, I'll probably just take a picture and show that one to you guys too. But that one is signed by the whole original band. except um, Glenn Danzig, but fingers crossed one day I will get him. Anyway, so then uh, moving on to like the Michael Graves era, I just recently added this to my collection. Never owned this album before, uh, but this is American Psycho. And then I got a really good deal on this. This was signed uh, back in 97, I believe, um, is what the seller said on eBay. And I'm just so lucky to have this in my possession, you guys. Signed by the whole band. Michael Graves signed in pen, but the rest of the guys signed in Sharpie, so very, very, very cool. I just can't believe I have that one. And then here's one that I've been working on myself, which, um, yeah, through the mail. These are all through the mail. Oh, except for Doyle. I met Doyle in person. I've gotten Doyle in the mail, too, but I've met him in person. He signed um, things for me in person as well, so... But yeah, this is uh, Famous Monsters, signed by the whole band, except for Michael Graves. So there you go. See, I still need Michael Graves, and I still need um, Glenn Danzig. I need the two singers. Those are the ones that I still need. I do have Michael Graves on some other things, which I will show you in a second here. Which, actually, right now. I'll show you right now. I do have this one. And um, I do do a little bit of eBay buying, you know, when I can, you know, if it's something that's a little bit harder to come by. Um, so, yeah, I purchased this um, Cuts from the Crypt. It's a little hard to see because it's got so many signatures on it. But it was already signed by Michael Graves. It was signed by Robo. Um, who's this signature? Oh, yeah, okay, it was signed by Des Kadena. So it was signed by those three, all right, and I guess the seller was um, a fan, just like myself, going to shows and different shows, too. Like, he went to, like, the Misfits, with, like, Jerry's Misfits, and got Robo and Des, and then he also got Michael Graves at a solo gig. So then I, um... I just kept adding to it. I was like, hey, Jerry, you should sign this one. And uh, I got um, that chud right here. So I pretty much have everybody that's on this album, uh, all except for Doyle, actually. And as you'll see, the back cover's missing. I mailed it to Doyle, and he signed a lot of my stuff, but um, this cover was nowhere to be found. I don't know if maybe he just doesn't like this this album he just threw it in the trash like screw that album i don't know i don't know maybe it just went you know missing but that's okay you know i could always get the back of it again that's why i mailed the back i mailed the back so i don't have to lose this so that's all that matters you know i could always get the back again and try again or if i see doyle in person i don't know where i would add him maybe up here but yeah this is definitely another prize possession got so many signatures on that and then um yeah, and then I have some um, other ones that aren't autographed. Actually, here's another one. There's Project 1950, signed by Jerry. I bought it signed by Jerry on eBay. 
And then I added Dez and I added Marky. I'm so surprised that Marky Ramon signed this because for many years, man, I guess uh, him and Jerry weren't cool. And, you know, people would mention his time in the Misfits. He's like, oh, I never played in the Misfits. I played with Jerry only, but I never played in the Misfits. And then now I guess he's kind of cooler with him. And, you know, and when he does conventions, he'll mention his time in the Misfits and you know, he still considers it the Jerry Only band, you know. I mean, you know, it's it's definitely up for debate, but uh, I love this album, so I'm happy to have everybody for the whole band, signed by the whole band. Some through the mail and um, some through other ways. It's it's fun. This is a fun hobby, you guys. And, uh, yo, so when I got Dez to sign that one, let's go back to that project, or, um, projects, <laughs> 1950. Let's go back to that um, Devil's Reign. Okay, so I had Jerry in the front. Now, I didn't want to mail this whole thing out. You know, it's kind of a pain in the butt to do that. So I just mailed the inside, and uh, yeah, I got Dez to sign the inside of it for me. So, you know, if I see Jerry again, maybe I'll get him there too. So, yeah, so really cool. Really cool. Dez was really cool. Gave me a bunch of um, guitar picks and, you know, with the Black Flag logo, which you guys saw in right here. Right here. Very cool. Very cool. Des Kadena is so awesome, man. But yeah, so, um, where was I? And then, you know, I have, um, some stuff that's unsigned. I haven't gotten this one signed, but this is my Misfit CD holder, so I have that. And, uh, this one, I, you know, I mailed out a little slip, which I got signed by... Jerry and Jerry Other. I mailed to Jerry Other, and Jerry Other was kind enough to get Jerry to sign it too. So really cool. I think Jerry is like the person that I have the most stuff of in my collection that's signed by anybody, you know. But he's always been super cool, the fans. He'll, he will sign anything. He's really down to earth. I love him, man. Love Jerry. So, um, yeah, so those are signed by Jerry Other. Here's another Jerry Other one. I mailed uh, the actual CD cover, as you can see, you know, this is what I have right now, but I sent out the actual CD cover to the guy who played lead guitar on this single, but I guess it never reached him, you know. I mailed it out, like, a certain way, like, via venue, and it's always hit or miss when you do that, but uh, Mark Rizzo, Mark Rizzo, I mailed to him, but, yeah, so I tried again, and now I, I have one that's signed by Jerry Other here in gold, I don't know if you guys can see it in the video, but it's there, and then Jerry Only. This is beautiful. I love it, man. Love that Marilyn Monroe uh, Misfits crossover. Just love it. Vampire Girl. Awesome. So, yeah, I have it in this little case for now. And let's see what else I got here. Oh, here's a cool one. This is <laughs> kind of a, uh, I don't know, what would you call it, a rarity? It's kind of something you don't see every day, but this is my, um, let me pull it out. This is my Ramones uh, Rocket to Russia uh, project. It's probably my favorite Ramones album, but uh, I started with uh, PJ Souls, you know, who plays Linda in uh, Halloween. So I sent this, and she plays um, Riff Randall, right, in um, Rock and Roll High School. So I was like, you know, this is the closest thing I have in my collection. Wasn't printing out pictures, like I said before. So I just sent this, and then she sent me a nice little message. Uh, to Kenneth Ramone, I'm Riff Randall Rock and Roller, PJ Souls. So it was really cool. And then, like, all of a sudden, I found out well, CJ Ramone is signing. So I sent to CJ Ramone. And then, uh, then I just got people from the Misfits because, you know, as you, some of you guys may know, the Misfits and the Ramones were really connected at one point. Like, especially after the Ramones uh, retired, like, Dee Dee was doing shows, like, with the Misfits, little guest appearances. They would do, like, Blitzkrieg Bop and Sedated, right? And then, um, for a while there, there was a band called The Remains, and it was CJ Ramone and Dee Dee Ramone and his wife Barbara and Marky Ramone and, uh... Jerry only would make guest appearances with them as well, you know, and do the Blitzkrieg bop. So they, they were really close, these guys. So And then, of course, Marky. Marky Ramon went on to play with the Misfits. Uh, and I think that has to do with uh, his involvement in the Remains. So really, really cool. Um, so, yeah, so you get Jerry there. And then I, I even got Chud because Chud played drums with Joey Ramon. And then um, Des Kadena. Des Kadena played guitar with CJ Ramon in his solo band. 
And then, yeah, so I have, like, those Misfits-related people there. Still want to add Michael Graves. Maybe, like, right here or something. But, um, yeah, and then I got Marky to sign here. I never thought I would get Marky. I thought he was impossible to get. So, you know, come to think of it, if I knew I could get Marky, maybe I wouldn't have gotten the Misfits. But, you know, it's still pretty cool. So I have Marky, CJ, and Elvis Ramon, who's um, Clem Burke. Clem Burke, the drummer of Blondie. He was Elvis Ramon at one point, so yeah, he signed up here. So really cool, man. This is another prize possession in my collection for sure. All right, sorry guys. I hope I'm not boring you with this. I'm kind of like in my own element when I'm talking with you guys. You know, I'm not really like trying to be like upbeat and jittery. I'm just kind of just running through my collection, just sharing it with you guys. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying this video. Uh, if you are, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. But yeah, and then some some more unsigned stuff. You know, Danzig, Black Layton Crown is in here. Ah, Danzig skeletons. Yeah, I, I keep the, the solo stuff in here too. But now going back to the autograph stuff, I have this one's a really rare CD to find. Like if you could find this even unsigned, it goes for quite a bit of money on the eBay. But uh, here's um <laughs> here's gorgeous Frankenstein, which is you know Doyle and uh his wife at the time, George Frankenstein, you know, they had their little band going on. This was his solo band before I think they they eventually changed the name to Doyle, and even Alex Story was going to join Gorgeous Frankenstein, and then I guess they split up, right? So they changed the name. But yeah, anyway, so this is cool because it's signed by George. Very hard to see, but Doyle signed here. The Sharpie didn't come out that good. And uh, Argyle Goolsby, right, uh, who was singing and playing bass at the time. I believe the original singer has passed away. I think his name was Landon Blood, London Blood. Yeah, so uh, unfortunately he's no longer with us. I'd love to add him to this, but that's the thing. It's not, it's not going to happen, sadly. And then um, another musician here, Jesco. I don't know, maybe he was an, another guitarist or bass player. So yeah, you guys, I actually came across this on eBay from another fan, another fiend. And um, just I was super stoked, and I, I got this for the price of what this thing is worth unsigned. And for that, I'm just like, man, I just can't believe I even have this, really, because it's super rare. All right, The album alone is super rare, but to have all the signatures on it, wow. Okay, and now uh, to keep going with the Doyle solo stuff, I have Abominator. This was signed by Alex and Doyle at a, at a gig I went to at the Whiskey A Go Go, right? And then um, I saw another band, a hair band, right, um, at the Rainbow Bar and Grill. At a different different event, right? And you know, the hair band I'm talking about is the Bullet Boys, right? And guess who was playing the drums for the Bullet Boys? It was a drummer named Tiny, who uh, was in uh, Doyle's uh, band here uh, for the Abominator tour. So I met Tiny uh, after the show and got the sign. He was super super honored to sign. He's like, "Oh yeah, man! Oh my gosh, yeah, I'll sign this." So it's a little bit harder to see, but uh, he's right there. So really cool. And so he was the drummer on the tour but um who played on the album was actually dr chud and i mailed this one out to dr chud this is like the the inside of it oh gosh i don't know if you guys could see it but yeah he signed in red right here on this page hope hell is warm but yeah if you look closely you could see it so really really cool yeah so i mailed out you know the the slip because you know i don't want to risk losing this and it's kind of kind of bulky to mail out so it's a little bit more difficult but okay guys so next up we got um doyle 2 let me pull that out so you guys can see oh wow <laughs> i still have the ticket stub and everything in here so but yeah so this is really cool but yeah this is side uh by doyle here in silver and i don't know if you guys can see it and alex right here all right and then you got uh brandon pertsborn I don't know if I'm saying that right. He went on to do awesome things, man. After Doyle, okay, he was already playing with Black Flag as well. Then he went on to play a gig with um, Suicidal Tendencies. And then he joined Marilyn Manson. Now he's playing with Limp Biscuit, man. Super talented guy and super down to earth, too, when I met him. Very nice guy, too. So, yeah, Brandon Persborn and then, then the other Brandon, the bass player, Brandon Strait. I think I'm saying that right. Could be wrong. But yeah, so I got this signed by the whole band that played on the album. 
And uh, actually, when I saw this show at the Whiskey, um, Brandon Pertzborn only played uh, a couple songs, and then the rest of the set was played by um, Wade Murph. Now, um, I did not have um, Murph sign this. I kind of wish I did, but at the time, I was like, I just kind of want to get everybody who played on the album, because I think it's so super cool. And, you know, Brandon doesn't always make appearances like this, so I just want to get everybody that played on the album. But I don't know, man. I mean, I would have liked to have him right here in the back. Since this is a drum head anyways, it would have been cool to have him right here. So never say never. Maybe I'll get him one of these days. But at the time, I was like, you know, there is going to be a Doyle 3. And, you know, it's it's very likely that Murph is going to play on it. So maybe I'll just leave it till then. But, hey, you never know. You guys let me know in the comment section what I should do with that. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I still have the ticket stub and everything. Very, very cool. That was an awesome show. It says uh, March 11th, 2018. Very, very cool. And then... Okay, so now we're getting into kind of like Misfits related stuff. And uh, I have uh, Robbie Bloodshed. He's an awesome musician, man. Check him out if you haven't heard of him, but... He's really good, does the horror punk, very uh, Misfits inspired, very Queen inspired as well. I love this guy, man. We're we're good friends on online too, so it's really cool uh, to have his signature in this uh, Misfits autograph fiend collection. But yeah, so, gosh, I might have to take this out so you guys can see it better. I don't know. I couldn't do it with all the CDs. I have a bunch here, but yeah, so here's his signature next to Mr. Jim, who's the original uh, drummer. And uh, from 1978 and played on the Static Age stuff. So yeah, so he uh, plays on a track on this, um, is this an album? I think this is just a, a single. Yeah, it's a single. There's four songs on this. So it's an EP. And so yeah, he signed this one as well. He plays on the song Red Ice. It's a pretty awesome song. So really cool to have that one in the collection. And this is where I keep all my Robbie Bloodshed stuff. Also have this one. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's another EP, the the quarantine sessions. We has a couple of misfits tracks on this one as well, and um, yeah, this one, this one's all misfits. This is he he put this out recently. This is uh, him and his band like doing renditions of the misfits that are kind of like piano heavy, just like um, this one, like the original misfits sound that they were going for. Like Robbie tried to do that with his own band, and it came out really really good. I really did enjoy uh, this EP right here. Has uh, TV Casualty and uh, Cough Cool. She in the doorway. Hybrid Moments Bullet. Really did enjoy this one. So if you guys could find that one, or if you guys could listen to it, definitely check that one out. And then I have his other album as well. And then okay, here's a. I guess it's kind of out of order, but Dr. Chud. I got this Dr. Chud um, X Ward uh, solo album too. And wow, this one still has the sticker on it. It says, uh, first, first a thousand copies are signed, have a free vinyl sticker inside. So yeah, this is another eBay purchase that I was lucky to come across for a really, really, really good price. But yeah, here's the sticker. And then Dr. Chud, his signature is inside the booklet. Oh, here it is, right by him. <laughs> So that's really cool and it's dated 2004 really really awesome and uh dr chud was really really kind in the mail because i had him autograph like the famous monsters and the cuts from the crypts so um and that uh that ramon cd as well so and he sent me this he sent me this cd it <laughs> just blew my mind because I normally don't get CDs, you know, coming back through like the mail with autograph successes. So that was really cool. Sent this little Garbage Pell Kids CD and it's signed in the back with a little comic book strip. I love this thing, man. Uh, 217 out of 300. Really, really cool, man. Yeah, so it's signed and numbered by Dr. Chud. Awesome, man. Awesome, awesome. What else do I got in here? <laughs> oh, here's the... Yeah, I made like a little CD. I'm still making it because I want to get more of their stuff together. But yeah, Robbie Bloodshed has a, a band with uh, Mr. Jim. 
and they cover like all that static age stuff and so yeah so I printed this out in, in hopes of making like my own little CD recording kind of like the cough cool one but uh, and here's another good example I want to show you guys this is uh, walk among us uh, the punk rock piano tribute to the misfits which is really cool let me pull this one out this one I don't like pulling out too much because it's nice and glittery these guys are super cool and I have to wonder if they're still together because, you know, with the pandemic and everything, you know, not a lot of bands really um, got through that. So I'm hoping, you know, that they're still around, you know, and making music. It would be really cool to see them, you know, if I could. They're not from my area, but it would be cool if they ever came out to Los Angeles. I'd definitely love to see these guys. But yeah, signed by the whole band. And they wrote me um, a note. And I want to read that says hey dude thank you so much for the letter and all of the support we are glad you dig what we are doing it was exciting to get your letter uh, right after we played such a fun show thanks for making a great night even better cheers walk among us and it's dated um august 2018 and uh it says here p.s pick the next casual fiend friday and that was the thing that they were doing every friday they would release like a cover a piano cover and it was like it was kind of like a little acoustic thing that they would do and um yeah so i got to pick out a song and i picked out astro zombies so that was really awesome and it says we are 138 so i want to show you guys that one very cool man yeah and i made um my own little fan CD of all their songs. I, every Friday, man, I would collect the song and I would make my playlist and then I made my own CD eventually. So, really cool. Yeah, thanks, Walk Among Us, you know. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are staying sta safe and, you know, still rocking out through all this. But yeah, thank you, you guys. And I got a couple other ones for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this episode with me. Like I said, if you're enjoying this, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Really do appreciate all the support. Fiend for life, man. <laughs> anyway, so um, here's one that I recently got up on, on eBay. And I debated getting this because, you know, I have my own copy and I have the story behind it. But I'm never going to get rid of that. But I just couldn't. I just couldn't pass this up, but this is The Devil's Reign, signed by Jerry, Dez, and Goat, man, the whole band. So really, really cool, and I got a really, really good deal on this, and I was almost feeling bad for the seller, because it was a bid, and uh, I I guess I got the highest bid, but I felt like, you know, this was worth a lot more than I paid for. But the seller was so cool, we had a conversation about the Misfits, and things like that when he went to go see them when they signed this for him and you know and he even threw in like um stuff from his um his own band for me to check out so i just i thought of that that was so awesome and uh, not only that though um i also got dead alive dead alive signed by the whole band jerry uh des or is that wait yeah Jerry, Dez, and Goat. Yeah, sorry, it's a little bit harder to see. This one is always harder to see. I don't know why. I guess it's like the the graphic. It's kind of hard to, to make out the signatures sometimes. And, um, but yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, guys, I almost forgot. Um, but, um, the producer also signed this one. Um, John Cafiero. I'm sorry, I, I'm butchering the last name, but he sings back up and he produced this album, so really cool to get him on this as well. And now we got some more miscellaneous stuff. Here's um, the Michael Graves Legacy Collection. Say what you will about this guy and, you know, the politics, but putting all that aside, he's a great songwriter, man. He made some amazing songs with the Misfits and solo as well. But yes, yeah, so I have this legacy collection. It has like a lot of early like uh, Misfits demos on here and live recordings, you know, after the Misfits. And I just, I think this thing is awesome. I'm super honored to have it really. It's number uh, 63. So very cool. Yeah, when, um, when he announced this, I just, I couldn't pass it up. I think it was 80 bucks or something and that was kind of you know i was i was still a kid at the time you know my parents you know were buying it for me but they're like okay you know what this is obviously something that's going to be super rare and then you check ebay now it's going for hundreds of dollars so i'm happy to have this in the collection you know, say what you will about michael graves but you know 
That's still pretty dang cool, I think. And here's a funny one. Here's uh, the Misfits. <laughs> Signed by Marilyn Monroe. Now this is funny. Obviously it's not really signed by Marilyn Monroe. The Marilyn Monroe. But um, when I started collecting, I thought it was funny. I sent out a letter to uh, Universal Studios and it was addressed Marilyn Monroe. And I just think I just included this and she actually signed it for me. To Kenneth with love, Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, you know what? I, I think it's cool. It's, you know, it's not, obviously not legit, but it's pretty cool. Alrighty guys, well that's my uh, Misfits autograph CD collection. I just keep it in this box right here, man. For a while I was taking this thing on the road, you know, I couldn't, you know, let this go, you know. I would go to my classes, always have that in my car, so that's why some of them have a little bit of, you know, wear and tear because, you know, I was young, I was dumb, you know. I didn't really care about, like, the, the collector aspect about it. I was just a fan, a fiend, you know. So I was just super stoked to just have all those signed things in my possession, you know. It felt like, you know, it's like a part of me, you know. It's a mu the music is definitely, like, a part of my life, you know. It has such an impact on me, and I'm just... I was super happy to have all those. I still am. You know, I still look at it. And I'm like, oh my gosh. But yeah, definitely part of my journey right there. And uh, yeah, you guys, I just want to thank you so much for watching this video. I just got finished uh, making a little Halloween skit. And I don't know if uh, a lot of you guys have seen it yet. But I'm going to link that in the description below. And you can also watch like an old one that I did back in high school. I'll add that too. Because tis the season, right? Happy spooky season, you guys. And also check out my band. My band, Mad Epidemic. We just reunited and we've been practicing every Wednesday and it's just been so awesome, man. My old high school band, we're back together and, you know, in a new um, new all-star lineup. And I just totally dig it. And, you know, if you like the Misfits music, you're going to like us. So I'm going to link our Facebook page in there and uh, in the description. So definitely give it a like, too. You know, if you like what you see, you know, we're definitely huge Misfits fans. And we're doing the, some of the Misfits stuff, too. So anyways, you guys, I really do appreciate all the support. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Happy Spooky Season. Kenneth Ramon. Signing off.